Hi guys, this is the Gaming Gurus, and today I have a video to show you about my auto clicker. I will give you the download link later on in this video, but first of all, I'm going to show you how it works and what it is. What it is an auto clicker is a program that you use to uh, tell your computer to click wherever it wants on the screen. So, for example, if I wanted to click in this spot up here, then I could use my auto clicker to do that. It's pretty cool and it comes in really helpful. So, first of all, I'm going to First of all, you click locate, and then this is where you click to where you want it on the screen. So if I want it up in this corner, then I just click there. Second of all, you do it how fast you want it, which is right in this area here. I'll just do it at once a second. It's in milliseconds right there. So if you wanted it to do 10 seconds, you just add a zero. Adding a zero will change the time. Or you can you can also add like numbers like that, but I'll just do it at one second. Um, if you want the time to vary, then you just click two, and then you add the time in there. But right now, I don't need that. You can also select which uh, button you want to click with. I usually do left because I don't really have a use for the right button. And then this is uh, where you type in how many clicks. So if you want to only click like a thousand times and you just type in a thousand, and after, after a thousand clicks, it'd stop. So um, after you've located it, which would be right here, and you've clicked the button already, so I've already located it, all you got to do is click start. It gives a countdown right there as a countdown, and then it just keeps moving. As I move my mouse away, it keeps clicking there. And uh, that's about it. It's pretty cool. So um, you can also change the time. So if I wanted to do it uh, 10 times a second, oops, sorry about that. 10 times a second, I'd just change the time, click start, and it does 10 times a second. Um, at first of all, I didn't know how to stop it. I wasn't sure how to, so I figured out a hotkey. The hotkeys are found in um, options. You got a hotkey, and um, this is where you'd find it. Is in here. It's you click Control plus R. Alt plus um, whatever. So I did C just because it's close. So I to stop the auto clicker, I press Control, Alt, and C at the same time, and it will stop it for me. So that comes in really handy. Um, and yeah, that's about it for the auto clicker. This th what also is really helpful is this has a ghost mouse. A ghost mouse is what you can do is you can program it to click in certain spots in order. So to get to ghost mouse, click on Options, go to Configure Mouse Events, and then here it is. So um, Really what you're doing is there's one event so you can get it to click in one spot. If you want to add more events, just click add events and each event is like one click if you wanted to click it in a different spot. Um so this right here is like where you'd locate it. To locate it, you usually be able to press this, but for some reason it's not working. So what I do is I click locate on this. If I wanted to click it here, I click this. As you can see my coordinates are seven thirty seven and six seventy six. So I type in here seven thirty seven. And then uh, 767, or 667, sorry about that. And then uh, that's one. So if I wanted to do another one, I'm gonna, this this will be the second click. So if you wanted to click somewhere different, you just click it. And you're going to go locate. And let's say I want it down in this corner. So there's my coordinates, and I just type them in here. Um, one, one, two, seven, four, and uh, 771. Right here is where the x-axis goes. You can see a little x right there. And then here's where the y-axis goes. Okay. You can add quite as many events as you want, but I'll just do a couple. I'll do one more to show you. And I'll let's just do it up here. Okay. So 1149 and 350. So I'll just do one more to finish it off. Okay. So let's just do it. How about under there? So... 964 and then 614. So um, now it's core. Now it's um, where you, now it knows where you want to click. So you click on the left button, and this is how many times you want it to click. So I'll just do one to make it. But if you wanted to do this one ten times, and this one five times, and click this one ten times, switch to this, do five. This is also the time. So like here, this whole thing right around here would be from there. So it's pretty simple. After you do that, if you want it to go in a loop, you click loop events. Then um, you could type in how many times. I'll just do it 10 times. For example, it doesn't really matter. The load XML and save XML are this whole thing. So like my four events is an XML. So uh, if you wanted to save it, if you have a certain spot, then you can save it. Since I have all this typed in, I'm ready to go. All I do is I click um, start events. It'll give me a countdown. Now it clicks there. Watch it moves. You can see my mouse is slowly moving around the screen. Even I, I'm moving it now. But if you see click, 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 
and it's moving it by itself. So it's pretty cool. It helps if you uh, if you want to do something else with it. Um, I'm going to stop it. Control plus Alt plus C. That's my hotkey to stop. And see it says stop. So it's pretty cool. Um, it comes in very handy on the internet. You can do it on the internet. I'm just doing it on paint.net to show you. But trust me, this is one download you want to have. So um, the website to, for the download is right here. I will put this link in the co in the comment box area because there's no way you can be able to type this in. Um, and then you just click this download button right here. You download it. Um, there's no virus. I swear on my life, there's no virus. So um, yeah, I hope this was a helpful video. Remember to rate and subscribe. I will be putting in more videos in the future. And uh, so have a great day.